Hi, I'm Tom Merritt, editor from CNET.com, and welcome to Road Warrior, where we take a look at the hottest gadgets for life on the go. Coming up, a compass that's a car, a Hummer that's a laptop, and a Dash smartphone that's actually a smartphone. Let's start with a Trio that's a little less than a Trio, in a good way, the new Trio 680. This is a GSM phone they just launched today, and it uh, works on GSM networks, although they haven't disclosed exactly which carrier just yet. Initially uh, available in four different colors, unlocked at the Palm stores, uh, but they haven't announced pricing. But in the press materials, they did say that it's going to be an affordable addition to the Palm family, so that means we're probably thinking this is going to be a little less expensive than some of the other models out there. The 680 can surf the web and send email, just like its older brethren, and works on the GSM network. Next up, Itronix claims its Hummer GoBook is semi-rugged. As you know, we like to prove these things. Dan Ackerman puts it to the test. Now it's time for the fun part. One of the nice things about a semi-rugged laptop like this is it's supposed to be able to withstand spills to the keyboard or touchpad area. Can it? Let's find out. Pour the water back off. Looks good to me. Pouring the water back off. Nice touch, Dan. Next up, Bonnie Shaw thinks that the T-Mobile Dash might be the first legitimate competitor to the Motorola Q. It's a little smaller than the Q, it's shorter. Here it is for comparison's sake. Overall though, same width. It's nice to feel in the hand. It has this nice kind of rubbery texture, so it's great for gripping and nice and light. It has a beautiful screen and the keyboard is pretty spacious, although I prefer the Q a little bit more. The Dash has integrated Wi-Fi too, which the Q does not. Finally, Brian Cooley shows off some geeky but cool hidden features in the 2007 Jeep Compass Limited. But over here, we've got something kind of nice that we also saw on the Caliber. It's this uh, pocket sleeve for holding any kind of a portable. You can stuff an iPod or a cell phone. A lot of other electronic portables should fit in here, rubberized on the inside so it keeps the rattling down. A little channel right here for the auxiliary output wire to follow. So you close that down, run the wire out of there, snake it over to your aux jack. Not the tidiest arrangement, but it's free, so go ahead and use it. And then right below that, we also have a 115 volt outlet, in other words, a typical household wall outlet to run your laptop charger, what have you. That means that there's an inverter already built into this vehicle. I like that. Brian says the Jeep Compass is almost identical to the Dodge Caliber, in case you're comparing. That's it for this edition of Road Warrior. I'm Tom Merritt. Check back next time for more gadgets that keep you armed and dangerously productive.